Hey, what is up guys? My name is Josiah, and welcome back to another edition of my survival house tutorial series. Now, the house that we'll be building today is quite unique as it is made of two divided sections with a connecting walkway in between them that overhangs a nice garden down below. Not only that, but it has a cool castle-like design with its two lookout towers and flag which makes it a beautiful yet still practical early game house. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. Now first up we will lay out the wood foundations of the house, so let's start by placing in a 6x7 ring of spruce planks with walls that are 3 blocks tall. Then if we go over 9 blocks to the right of this section, we can add in an identical ring that aligns with the one we just made. So now with both sections in place, let's next replace the ground within them with stone bricks. Then with the floors in place we can cover over the top layers of these with spruce planks. Next we'll add some more walls on top of these two sections. So starting from the inner sides let's build some 4x7 rings of spruce planks that go up 3 blocks. Now with these two upper walls in place, we will next connect them together with a walkway through the center. So from one of these two top inner corners at the front, go down a block diagonally and then place in a two tall row of spruce planks that extends across to the other side. Now with this row of spruce planks in place, we can now do this from the same spot from the back two corners. So now with both of these center walls up, let's next add spruce slabs under and above these walls for the floor and ceiling of the walkway. Then on the insides of these second floor walls here, let's knock out the area where the middle connector is which will be 3 blocks wide and 2 blocks tall. Next up we'll add some stone brick columns around these spruce walls. So off the corners of these taller spruce walls, let's build up some stone brick columns that are 8 blocks tall like I do here. Thank you. 
Now with these stone brick columns in place, let's next place an upside down stone brick stairs between them a block below the top layer. And now within these stone brick stairs we place, let's add in stone bricks to close off the ceilings. Then at the top of these two sections, let's place an oak fences around the outer edges for a railing. Next up, we'll add balconies at both sides of the house. So let's start by adding a couple three tall stone brick columns at each side that are a block in from the corners of the spruce walls. Down with these columns in place, let's next add an upside down stone brick stairs between the top layer of them and also around to the front and back of the house. And now at the sides, let's place an oak fences on top of these upside down stairs for the balcony's railings. Next up, we'll cover over the top of these balconies. So let's start by placing a row of stone brick stairs a block above the oak fence railings. And then once these stairs are in place, let's fill in the gap behind them with a raised layer of stone brick slabs. Next up, we'll add in the doors and windows to the house. So let's start by placing in double oak doors at the front sides of these two sections. Now let's go under the middle walkway here and add in a door at the center of both of these inner walls. And then at both the second floor balconies we can place in a door at the center of the walls here. Next we'll place in the windows to the house, 
So I'll start by placing in double wide white stained glass pane windows at the middle of the second floor walls for the front and back sides of these two sections. Then along this middle walkway we will place in three windows that are two blocks tall at the front and back sides of this. And now lastly for the windows, we will place one under each of the balconies at the sides between the stone brick columns here. Next we'll add a flagpole on top of the middle walkway, so we'll start this by adding a 5x5 ring of spruce slabs at the top center of this. Then we can add another layer of slabs on top of this that is 3x3 blocks with an extra one at the center. So now that we have this little pyramid of spruce slabs, let's next place a stone brick wall at the center with 4 oak fences on top of it. And then with this flagpole in place, we can now add the flag by placing in some colored wall blocks off one of the sides like I do here. Next up we'll add a garden and other plants around the house, so we'll start by placing in a fence for the garden between the middle two stone brick columns at the front and back. Then at the center of this fenced off area let's place in a water source block with a lily pad on top. And then with the water in place we can now till the rest of the grass here with a hoe and then place in any kind of crop you'd like in here. Then with the garden finished up, let's now add in some flower pots with any kind of flower or sapling you'd like at the sides of the second floor windows, and then that will finish up the house. Now as for the interior of the house, I've simply gone ahead and added some ladders and trapdoors connecting the multiple levels, as well as added some survival essentials. So you can choose to copy mine as I show you here, or you can fill your house with whatever you may need.
But that is going to be all for the survival house tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.